like photography? Oh, I do like a bit of photography. I wouldn't say I'm good at it, but I have a no, passion for it. So what's the best photo you've taken of wildlife? Uh, or, you know, or even the dog or the cat, whatever. I, I do, I do, I, I'm not bad at a dog picture. I did get a kingfisher once in flight. Beautiful. Yeah. Were you proud of that? Uh, Frame it. Well, no. You just thought, that's a nice picture, and moved on. <laughs> <laughs> my best idea is pictures of my cats, which take, which are absolutely useless in posing, completely. <laughs> um, so I don't think either of us would have been good at this, but the Natural History Museum is asking for your help in judging its 56th Wildlife Photographer of the Year Award. We thought that was a good excuse to show you some of the shortlisted images. Oh, oh. Yeah. that's a, a red squirrel snuggled inside a nesting box in Scotland. But they're actually now really? look carefully. There are two of them in there apparently. Uh, the photographer Neil Anderson fitted the box with a remote camera and a dimmable light. I cannot see number two. Oh Is yes, two you tails? can. No, no, no. So see the see the tip of the nose of yeah. the squirrel on top. If you look in between its nose and its little forearm, its little paw. There is a head, and the other one's head is kind of sideways in that. I've just leant over to the monitor under the desk. Right, OK. It is there, it well is there. You have to look really closely. Um, this one, let's take a look. Hairball. You can see why, of course. The photographer Andy Parkinson spent five weeks in the Scottish Highlands waiting to capture a perfect moment with the mountain hairs. I just love the way the ice is just cracked along that's, its that's fur. That's incredible photograph, isn't it? I would frame that one if I'd taken that nugget. Too right. And here's a much closer relationship between human and animal. Oh. Look carefully. Uh, this one shows wildlife rescue worker came for three bats known as grey-headed flying foxes. Uh, they've been orphaned in Australia. Oh, I tell you what, do you know what the squirrel, the um, squirrel and the hair remind me of? So the heating went off in the office this it's last night, right. yeah. so the whole team was really, really cold. <laughs> and the hair reminds me of our overnight team last night. It's coats on everywhere. They're just all huddled up, desperately trying to get the programme out. Um, you can vote for your favourite image on the Natural History Museum website. A bat landed on my head once in uh, Chester Zoo. It was not... I was perturbed, let me put it that way. Have you heard the story about Mike and a bat and cycling? Oh, the in the 80s, he was died. cycling. I don't think the bat died. I don't think any bats were harmed. Um, he was cycling along <laughs> and he's got sunglasses on. He told us a story. I was, in, I was in fits. And a bat ended up between the sunglasses and his face and was flapping in his face <laughs> when Mike tells the story. It's ridiculous, only, but it only happens uh, to Mike. Only Bushel, yeah. <laughs> he's a unique individual.